Today I have the grace of being the lips of Cardinal Jivish. He asked me to read the homily written by him. Dear Bishop, Your Excellency, dear Marian fathers, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, among many titles that St. John Paul II received, one is especially very close to us. It is the title of the Pope of Divine Mercy. On one hand, God selected a simple and humble nun, St. Faustina, to remind the world that he, our Creator and our Lord, is a merciful God. God looks upon the fate of each human being. He wants to lead us through the dark valley of sins, evil and death, and bring us to his eternal kingdom of life and love. On the other hand, divine providence selected the Pope from Krakow to spread the message of God's mercy throughout the church. During his papacy, John Paul II actively promoted the message of Saint Faustina. He wrote the encyclical about mercy, Divas in Misericordia. He beatified and then canonized Sister Faustina. And finally, he spread the message of the word of God's mercy by proclaiming the Sunday after Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday, throughout the church. On August 17, 2002, he consecrated the shrine of the, of the Divine Mercy in Krakow and entrusted the entire world to the Divine Mercy. He prayed passionately, God, merciful Father, grant to all the people on earth that they may experience your mercy. In you, the triune God, may they ever find the source of hope. The Holy Father was also asked to hand over to the world the fire of mercy. The National, the national Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge inscribes in this great apostolic and spiritual current which addresses the situation and issues of the modern world. The special mission of this shrine is to pass on the fire of mercy throughout this great land. In this shrine resonates St. Peter's words about God, who, is, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the death. I am very thankful to the Marian Fathers for, the, for, the, for, for their great commitment in promoting and inspiring people towards the truth about God who is rich in mercy. The Bible testifies about this, this truth. The excerpt from St. John Evangelist, which we just heard, provides a written account of the words with which Jesus said during the Last Supper. It reminds us that the most precious gift from our crucified and resurrected Lord is his friendship. He himself names us as his friends. I no longer call you servants because a servant doesn't know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my Father, I have made known to you. Thus, becoming our friend, Jesus asked us only for one thing. You are my friends if you do what I command. And he commands us to love each other. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Love is the identification sign of each genuine disciple of Jesus. Just as many and so much. This should be our answer on God's love towards us. This is the secret and the essence of the Christian life. Saint John Paul II knew exactly the secret of Christian life. Jesus Christ was the love of his entire life. Many times in the Pope's heart came alive this question which the resurrected Lord asked Simon Peter at the shore of the lake of Genezareth. Do you love me more than these? 
Saint John Paul II knew that as the, as the shepherd, he must love his brothers and sisters more and more. This was the way of serving Christ in his church. Mystic of John Paul II was the mystic of service. His prayer was leading him to action and his tireless apostolic work was bringing him closer to his master from Nazareth. It continued to the very end. We were witnesses of this every day. The canonization on April 27th was the answer to the faith of God's people who were seeing clear signs of holiness in the divine mercy Pope who led the church into the third millennium. He brought closer the ideal of holiness, which in fact is not only for the cho chosen few, but for all disciples of Jesus Christ, regardless of who we are. Everyone was enriched by the gift brought forth during the canonization of St. John Paul II. The spiritual experience should give fruit in our personal life. It should give fruit through our service, our love to God and our neighbor. In this Eucharist, we ask for the gift of peace for our, our troubled world. We especially ask for peace in Ukraine. We ask for God's peace in our hearts. Peace is a gift from our resurrected Lord. Let us open our hearts, our families, and our communities to him so we could be credible apostles of God's peace and God's mercy. Amen.